Hi everybody, I'm Sinead Kennedy. Welcome to my YouTube channel on health and wellness. So today's video is all about massaging into the back of the neck. So Colin has asked me to make this video for him. He says that when he comes home from cycling, he has a lot of pain up between the shoulder blades and right up into his neck. Now first things, it should be noted that anybody who has any sort of herniated discs in their neck, anybody who's suffering from migraines, etc., really, really go see your doctor. Please don't attempt any of these. They're not gonna be suitable for everybody. So what I want to show you today is really just like that for just general neck and shoulder pain. If you've been sitting at the computer all day or like myself, cycling, hanging onto the brakes, squeezing a little bit too much and creating a lot of tension in around the neck and the shoulder area. So as I said, if you have any, any ongoing issues with your neck, with your spine, pins and needles, headaches, please avoid it. Please don't attempt any of these. So what we're gonna to need today is I have got my two little dog bowls, which I buy in the pound shop. And I've put them inside of an old pop sock or a knee high, and I've tied a knot in it to stop them moving around. I've also got myself a fairly decent block, okay? Now you'll need something which is a little bit firm. Okay, so please don't do these on the bed or on a mattress, okay? You need a block or something uh, like a, a catalog, you know, for maybe a shop, something like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all is if you have hair, tie up your hair, get it up, make sure there's nothing around the neck, collars, etc., that are going to cause any sort of aggravation or get caught up. So I'm just gonna turn myself here for you. We're gonna place the balls right up here to where the hairline and the neck meet. So this is where I'm gonna be working on this area. Okay, so again, just play around it. If at any time during any of these you start to feel faint, you see stars, you get any pins and needles, I just need you to stop immediately and um, don't do them, okay? So I'm going to slide the balls into that point where my hair and my neck meet, okay? And just sit here for a moment. Okay, so while you're here, I just want you to try and soften your body. Okay, the balls are going right up just in underneath, they're called occipitals. Okay, so we're just melting in there. Focus on your breathing, so you may as well just do something while you're here. So take a nice big inhale through the nose, get the belly to dome or to bloat up. Fill up, get the chest to rise and expand. And as you exhale, we're gonna knit the belly in and up and let the chest drop. So we get this nice circular breathing. So we inhale, the belly bloats, the chest rises, and then from here we get the belly to fall and the chest to fall. So the balls here have connected with my head. My head is heavy, gravity is pulling me down into the balls. And that actually just feels really nice. If you don't want to do anything else today, don't bother, okay? If you're okay to, I'm going to get you to start with a little yes, nod. Okay. Just take it slowly. Okay, there's a lot going on in my own neck. I'm cycling all weekend. We sit at computers and we're looking down at phones. Okay, so just nice and gently, we're just teasing it out. Try and keep relaxed in your face. And then when you've had enough of that, now this one, I know I'm dreading it. Oh, <laughs> okay, little nose. No, I'm not enjoying the nose. I'm just gonna do them for you for demonstration purposes. But to be honest with you, I really wouldn't be bothered doing them today. My neck's not happy with them. So just to show you, okay, so like that, if like me, you're not happy with the no's, you can just stay on the yeses. to do my nose there actually. 
So this is a real sort of just play around, explore your own body, okay? Everything is just a guide. You can just lie here, it's even, you know, that in itself is just lovely, you don't have to do a thing. Okay, so just really lovely. Just melt into it. If you want to do your yeses and noes, away you go. All right, now I'm gonna slide the balls down a little bit deeper. Now guys, please, if your neck is in any way not happy. Now, I've, all I've done is I've gone from up here down about one or two vertebrae, okay? Now that may be too much for you. I'm gonna allow my head to go into extension. Okay, now if that's too much, if you start seeing stars, pins and needles, back off, get out of there. And I'm only going to do that just for another breath. And then I'm going to just gently come back out. I'm going to roll back up to where it's nicer. And I'm just going to play here for a moment. Okay, so that's enough of that. To be honest, if I stay there any longer, it's not going to be happy. Okay, so we never want to aggravate, we want to just tease out. These are very small muscles, so I just need you to be careful here in this area, okay? So we never ever force anything. So when you're ready, I'm just going to show you how to get in a little bit more meaty into the trap. So again, I was on my bike all weekend, not a happy area. So I'm just going to place the balls at the top of the shoulders. Now I'm going to just sit up for you so you can see where they are. And then when you're ready, what I'm going to get you to do is to support your head. Okay, so you can use both hands. I'm just going to use one so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to roll into the balls. Now they've connected with those meaty shoulders. And I'm going to hold it here. If you have a block handy, you could always pop your head on it. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to move the arms. Now that's a really nice movement. You can do anything you like. If you're not feeling quite in the spot, just mooch around. You can always lift the hips. Okay, you can put a block in here, and then you're really connected into those balls. Now I've hit the hot spots. Okay, you can have the head down, or you can move. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm in the spot. <laughs> so I found it. I'm right in around my shoulder blades. Just pretend you're in a psychedelic disco. Just do anything you want. Okay, so the balls don't have to move. The arms can move or you can sort of chug, chug up into those shoulders. Now I'm, oh, there we go, I found a lovely spot. Now I'm just gonna spend a breath or two there. Okay, we never poke the bear. Okay, so you've seen in my other videos, remember we always wash the windows, we never ring the doorbell. And just tease in and out of there for a second. I'm gonna rest my head and I'm gonna move my arms instead. I'll show you another one. You can rock the boat, which is quite nice. And then that's really enough there. So using the block is a great way to support the hips because now I have that push, I can use my legs. Okay, remember you don't have to move the body, you can move the arms or you can rock the boat with the body. Just play around with it. So just come out of there, neck and shoulders feel really nice and move up. So I was right here in around the shoulder blade area and then when I was on the block I was up here around the hairline with my little balls. Okay now these are just dog balls that I got in the pan shop like I said. They're firm but they also have a little bit of give on them. Please never ever use a golf ball or a lacrosse ball way 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 too hard okay. You want something with a bit of squish. All right, so I hope that video has been uh, useful for you. Thank you, Colin, for the, the, your suggestion. Don't forget, if you have any other parts of your body that you need help with, please don't hesitate to shout. I'm more than happy to do a video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can share this video with all of your friends. So I hope to see you all very soon.